Hey y'all, Rich here. Recently, publications like Mac Stories and 9to5Mac released some articles about the Hydrate Smart water bottles. And I actually made a review of the Hydrate Spark 3 a little bit over a year ago. Now I have returned that bottle um, pretty much right after I made the video, but I bought the Steel Hydrate Pro water bottle instead because the sensor was newer at the time. And I, I didn't know that this was the newer one compared to the Spark 3. Anyways, so now here I am, no ads, no sponsors still, but this is my take on the Hydrate Smart Water Bottles, which I have two now, one year later, how this one held up over use, and then a small comparison with the larger, but non-insulated, also pro water bottle. So let's jump into this. First up, why do I use this bottle when there are plenty of cheaper methods for tracking your water? Basically, before I got this, I was manually tracking it with a NFC sticker at the bottom of my bottle, which you would just tap your phone onto, and also using Siri shortcuts. So I could just use, you know, my voice or like Spotlight to quickly log the water that way. But I was doing that a lot and like, yeah, you know, a few seconds here and there doesn't seem like a lot, but I bet you I'm saving minutes, maybe even hours by the end of the year with the smart water bottle. So that's pretty much the only reason for why. Um, if you're not willing to spend the money on it, then, you know, just click off the video. It's, it's not for you, right? But if you're interested in the bottle, keep watching because I got some things to say after a year of using the bottle. So let me first answer the question of what has changed in the last year. Nothing really has changed. The bottle is still as ugly in my opinion as it was. They're very tall and very narrow. So functionality wise, they're also easier to tip over. But pretty much with the bottles, nothing has changed, not even from the steel to the non-insulated version, besides the fact that the volume is larger. So yeah, but in the app, there are a couple changes, but I'll get to that in a moment. You can check out the chapter markers below if you want to skip ahead to that section of the video. So the first thing that I tested, obviously, because I, I had this sneaking suspicion that the accuracy of the tracking puck was declining over time, but that is not the case at all. You can see here that it was tracking uh, 616 through 621 milliliters on four tries with the Steel Pro. And that was with the same volume of water. Now, I guess, I mean, I could have lost a few milliliters on, you know, drops, but I don't think that was the case. On the other side, the brand new 710 milliliter bottle that <laughs> each time logged 710, 710, 710, and 710 in the video that I shot. So I don't know what's going on there. If it has something to do maybe with uh, like interference on the steel, steel is probably aluminum, you know, and the puck or maybe the plastic version with the puck is just better. I'm not sure what's going on, but you know, to be honest, like what is a couple milliliters here and there by the end of the year, you're only at probably a couple glasses of lost water tract. I don't think it's enough for anyone to be like, Oh, that's detrimental that I didn't get that extra glass of water this year for my health. You know, I, you know, so, but yeah, so that surprised me. So after over a year of use, the only wear on the system of the Steel Pro is literally on the bottle itself, right? Because it's metal, it's gonna mark up and scuff more easily, um, especially with, like I said, the bottle design being so tall and narrow, it has fallen over quite a few times. Um, but besides that, it's, it's still a very great water bottle to have. The only reason I bought the plastic version was because I wanted a larger capacity. And this gets me from 620 milliliters up to 710 milliliters, which is pretty nice. A nice little 90 milliliter boost. The only thing that I could think of for like a negative on the bottle itself is that it ships with this incredibly flimsy and just cheap feeling and looking USB-A to proprietary magnetic charging cable. It's crap for the premium price you pay for a bottle of like, I think it's 70 or $80. I would expect more. And especially with all talk on USB-C, like, come on, like this annoys me more than the fact that the iPhone still uses a lightning connector. So anyways, uh, let's move on to talking about the app. 
First, before I jump into the app, if you've been enjoying the video, consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of August, because that's when I you know, go back to work, uh, teaching and all that. So that would be a really big help and maybe share the video with your friends to help me get boosted. All right, thanks so much. And yeah, let's jump back in. So the app, the nice thing about technology, every now and then, you get some new features for your hardware products, which is super sweet. Uh, sorry to those of you who have older iPads and won't be getting Stage Manager. But in this review for the water bottle, one of the cool things that they added is that now you can assign the type of liquid that you're drinking with that bottle. Now this makes the most sense because they just recently released Thermos. It makes sense because I'm pretty sure most people are not drinking hot water out of a Thermos, right? I'm, I'm willing to bet it's mostly coffee or tea. So that makes a lot of sense. They added that. And then in the history page of the app, there's now a breakdown of you know what percentage of what came from the various liquids that you were drinking. Now it should be noted, you can't put in a custom liquid. You are limited to water, coffee, tea, or their, their like electrolyte uh, water flavor adder thing, which I have not tried. But yeah, it's a pretty cool feature that they added. Now, Interestingly enough, it is free. And I say that because a few months ago, actually, they added the feature where you could change the color of your water bottle to any color way you wanted. So right now, when you buy the Pro Bottle, it comes with like, I think it's eight different presets. You can see them here. Um, and luckily, in, in my opinion, luckily, they cover my interests. So I use the red one for the coffee bottle and the purple one, which is purple is currently my favorite color if you haven't figured that out um, for the water bottle. Besides that, the app is pretty much the same. You get to see some historical data. They have challenges with their social feature, which I'll join some of the challenges, but I'm not really like paying attention to if I'm winning or not. And that's mostly because the app is pretty ugly. So that brings me to my next point. After over a year of using the Steel Pro and now having a second water bottle from the company, I have some thoughts I'd like to share with how I think they could do even better. So tech geeks like tech, obviously, but we also like conscious tech. Now, what I mean by that, take all the smart home accessories, for instance. You, you could just go out there and buy any smart home thing you want, like some, some Nest stuff, some Acara stuff, some Eve stuff, and then you use all the apps that you have to use individually for them. That would be like the amateur tech enthusiast, right? But like the, the pro or more experienced tech enthusiast is going to buy the same smart home products, I mean the same standard of smart home products. Luckily that's gonna get easier with Matter. So what is my point <laughs> with regards to Hydrate? Right? So they have this great, accurate, smart water bottle tracking your water intake to the health app, luckily as well. So for the basic consumer or even health advocate or health influencer, health enthusiast or health conscious consumer, they have a great product. If it's a tech product, you could also market this for tech enthusiasts. The thing is, there are some downsides to the experience, the overall experience, that would maybe keep some tech enthusiasts from joining. So at the price point of being like, what, 70 or $80 for the bottle, in the articles from like Mac Stories and 9to5Mac, a comment that was kind of coming up over and over again was the price point of the bottle, saying it's not worth it. And you know, with the app being as ugly as it is, they may have a point with what they're saying. So for Hydrate specifically, I think they need to add some more platform specific features. Again, this would be specifically to focus on tech enthusiasts. So for example, maybe they could add some shortcut support, at least to the iOS platforms. Now, the reason for this would be if they have the breakdown in their own app, if I log another intake of something like milk in food noms, that's not going to show up in the hydrate app. But if I could log more liquid types with hydrate, then through shortcuts, I could manually log. And this would be very helpful for like when you go to a restaurant and you're not really lugging your water bottle with you to the dining area, which at least in the United States, you can't really do that. So adding shortcuts is gonna add more sense of consistency. Now it could be argued that, you know, it, an iOS or Apple tech enthusiast is probably going to be using the health app. And you know, I, I do agree with you on that point. But secondly, 
The water bottles could have find my support. So in the app, they already have so-called location tracking, but it only works based off of the last location where you were connected to your water bottle via Bluetooth. That doesn't help though if the water bottle gets moved or anything like that. By adding find my support, firstly, your water bottle would have a little bit of sound feedback so you can try to find it when you're nearby. But secondly, the water bottle's location would constantly be updated as people part of the find my network are walking by your water bottle. That's it for my, you know, thoughts and opinions one year later review of the Hydrate Smart Water Bottles. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Do you own one? Are you planning on picking one up? I'd be interested to know and have a discussion with you. Again, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of August. So consider subscribing and sharing my video with your friends and family and all of that was that. Was that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Anyways, if you stuck around, smash that like button. Thanks again, Rich Aesthetic, out. Thank <laughs> you.